folks, Jose here with another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. If you've been following along with the other tutorials, you can see that we've accomplished quite a bit now. We've come uh, quite a ways. We have our front page with posts. We have our uh, single posts, a page customized. We have single pages customized and we're well on our way. But the one thing that we're not able to do right now is to add widgets. If you were to go to our uh, WordPress dashboard right here and then click on Appearance, normally you would have an uh, area here that says Widgets so that you can add WordPress widgets, which is a really uh, useful thing to be able to do. But as of right now, we don't have that. So we need to get that started. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is add support for widgets. As you can see here, there's no uh, selection for widgets, like I said. So that all we have to do is go into our text editor and add some code. Now, I'm not going to bore you with typing out all this code. I'm just going to type paste it in here for you. So go to your functions.php and paste in a code that looks like this. Now, don't worry about memorizing this. I'm gonna paste all this code on my GitHub page so you can get it from there. But basically, all we're doing here is we're putting a comment here and we're calling it re register widget locations. Then we're creating a function and we're calling that function wpbasics init widgets and we're passing it an ID uh, there. And then we're gonna put the, the default code that is used to register widgets which is this right here and you can get this like i said from my github page this is also available on the codex okay and now what we need to do is that function on its own won't do anything we need to call it so we need to add an action so we just go like this add an action and inside there put some uh, single quotations and write call widgets widgets underscore init, okay, comma, and then we're gonna grab here, I always like to copy the function name and paste it, that way there's no mistakes. And I forgot to put the single quotations or else it's not gonna recognize it. We do that and then we end it with a semicolon. We save and then if we go back to our uh, dashboard, we hit refresh. And if we go to widgets, we now have a widget area here. And if we click on it, we can see that there is now a sidebar. So let's add a text widget just to see if anything happens. Let's write it in here. This is a widget and this is the content of my widget. And let's save that. And if we go back to our web page and we refresh, we can see that nothing has happened. And that's because we've registered the, the widget. So we can enter widgets here, but we haven't put any code in our text editor to display the widgets. So we're gonna do that next. So let's go into our text editor. Let's look for the code that is responsible for outputting uh, this uh, static text here. So it says itium porta sem. So let's look for that. And that should be in our footer PHP file. You can see itium porta sen and so on and so forth. So all this here is uh, the, um, this is the um, static text is the word I'm looking for. So we don't need any of that. We can delete all of that. Let's just put a couple spaces so we uh, know where we can work, okay? So we're going to replace all that static text with a few, three lines actually, of text that we'll call our sidebar. So let's put in some PHP tags. And inside there, let's put a condition first. If is underscore active sidebar. So it's going to check to make sure that there's actually something in the sidebar. Then call put it sidebar here. Uh, bar. Okay put a that mark there, enter, then put another PHP tag. And then we're gonna say dynamic sidebar. And then we're gonna call it here again, sidebar, sidebar, and then put a semicolon. And then one more line 
and then we're going to end the if. Okay, and then we put a semicolon and we save that and then we can check what we have so far. So let's go back to our page. Let's refresh that. And we can see here, this is a widget. This is the content of my widget is what we have here. Thing is though now, if we go to a page, it's also there. And if we go to a post, let's check out a post, make sure it's working there also. It's working there also. So now we can enter any any widget we want. So let's put in another one, like for example, a calendar. Let's save that. And we refresh. There's our calendar here. Let's go to a, an about page and it's there. And our sidebar is now working. So let's add one more widget just so I can demonstrate something here. So let's add an archives widget to the sidebar here and let's just call this archives, okay? So if we go here and we refresh it, we can now click on one of these. Let's say we wanna see all the December posts. See right now it's showing us everything just as it would show uh, uh, using the index because that's all we have. We are, it's using the index.php file because we haven't uh, customized how we want the archives to display. And some people are fine with that, but oftentimes people want to show just maybe a list with just the titles on it, and that's actually more common. So if we wanted to customize how our archives are displayed, that's very easy to do. Just go back to your WordPress uh, text editor, um, create a new file. Let's call it archive.php. And what we need to do is grab all the code from our index.php uh, file, copy it, and go to our archive one, paste all that code. And then if we go back to our web page right here, nothing has changed yet because uh, we haven't changed any of the code yet. So let's, let's do two things. We want to get rid of the excerpt and we want to get rid of the picture. All we want to show is uh, a list of titles. Okay, so let's do that. So to get rid of the uh, excerpt, just delete that line and the excerpt will be gone. And to get rid of the thumbnail or the picture, just take these four lines and delete them. Let's get rid of some lines just so it's a little more neater. Let's save that now. And if we go back to our page, you can see now that we simply have a list of titles. We go to February, there's the titles for February, here's March, and there they are. And now let's go to home, let's check a post. And um, hey, this is kind of weird. Why are we repeating this? Let's fix that, because that looks kind of weird. So if we go back to our text editor into, I believe it will be single, uh, we don't need this here because it's already outputting it above. So let's delete that. Save this. There. That looks better. Let's just double check. Let's go to here. If we go here, that looks better. Let's check the pages, make sure they're still working. Okay, well, there you have it. So let's check our archives one more time. There you have it. There's a list. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified of the next tutorials. Until the next tutorial, see you later. Bye-bye.